on the 8th of February 1587 and it's the execution of Mary Queen of Scots. On the 8th of February 1587 and it's the execution of Mary Queen of Scots at Fotheringay Castle. She had been captive in England for 20 years by the time of her execution and the English Queen was Elizabeth I and she was a cousin of Mary Queen of Scots. They both descended from Henry VII, Henry Tudor. Henry VII's eldest daughter Margaret had gone and married the Scottish King James IV and Mary was his granddaughter. And Elizabeth had wavered over signing the death warrant of Mary Queen of Scots for a very long time. Mary had been found guilty of treason. A she, she didn't recognise the court, she didn't recognise the charge um, and, 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 and the, the, actual, the actual sentence couldn't be carried out without Elizabeth's approval and, um, and signature. And she did sign the death warrant um, begrudgingly, but she wavered between the, the, the decision to keep her alive or to not. But her counsel was telling her that she couldn't possibly um, be safe while Mary was still alive. But with Mary's death, Elizabeth's problems didn't go away. And the following year, we have the Spanish Armada. Mary, for her part, met her end with a dignified grace and was somewhat elevated in death. Uh, in the hearts and minds of her people. And Elizabeth, in contrast, met the news of Mary's death with initially a calm followed by an uncontrolled panic. This was not something she could undo and it was something that hadn't been done before. This was regicide. She ranted at her advisers, she blamed everyone for it but herself and wrote to Mary's son, James, to so this was something that actually, this was a mistake. She'd never actually intended the sentence to be carried out. During Mary's captivity, she had pleaded over and over again for an audience with Elizabeth, but Elizabeth had refused. They never did meet in life, or there's no evidence for that uh, having happened at, that we have currently. Um, so they they never met in life. They're, they were cousins, but... Um, yeah, they were in the same country, two queens in the same country, two Tudor descendants, um, but they never met, but they are now laid to rest not very far away from each other. Mary was initially buried at Peterborough Cathedral. It's still marked where her original resting place was, but her son, uh, around, I think it's around 12 years after um, he came to the throne in England, had her moved from Peterborough to a very nice tomb in Westminster Abbey, not very far away from Elizabeth. And it was, so it's Mary, Queen of Scots' son, James, who became uh, James the First of England, he was James the Sixth of Scotland, who actually took um, the throne over on the death of Elizabeth I, who of course, Virgin Queen, uh, died childless. <music>